Welcome back to Broken Triad, <clears throat> where I'm going to break and tr broken tries to get past these guards. Would have been the moment. If they hadn't burst through the door. Please turn away. It's strange. I thought there was something there. <laughs> What's that I see? Just rats again. Maybe he's coming back. Last cell is said. In the last cell, look for a small switch above eye level at the back as a stone arch next to the cell. Okay. Guess I'm gonna to wait here until the guards get here and then we'll look. Hopefully he doesn't get suspicious that the cell door's open. Nobody in the cell, so why would he? You never really know though with these Guards. I mean, I'm glad he wasn't too twitchy. That he, he kind of walked into me, but didn't really notice. Mate, you have to stand there. Ah, that's right. Go about your business. Should check the other cells, right? Maybe they've got something valuable in them. I'll switch above eye level. Ah. Well, you know, it really doesn't look like the other cells have anything in them. Alright. Tunnels under the city is somehow the best way to get into a locksmith's house? Shit. I recognize that sound and I do not like it one bit. I see you there. Just barely. Is it a guard I can hear walking with? One song? Sounds like there's another one out there waiting for attention. Just wanting to get a hook to the head. You guys done? Yes. Why? Well, we're back in more catacombs. But why is there a mystical green smoke coming out of there? Don't know. And I'm also not really sure I would want to know. Mm. 
No more crawly things, are there? I hope not. Guess we won't know for sure. Until we finish the explore. Yes, there's another big crawly thing. Do not like spiders of this. Which will be no news to you if you've seen any of my other videos, but uh, unfortunately, that complete misfire of an arrow, I don't know why it hit the wall there. Means I now have to wait for this big fella to calm down. I don't need fire arrows, I don't need mines, I don't need, you know, quick ways of dispatching it. It does not still seem, seem to be, it does not seem to be still searching there. Yeah, it sounds like it's come back to, uh... Regular hunting patterns. <laughs> Basically, I do not have not think I had the time to get another shot off. But it was still riled up. Worst part of any thief mission is just with spiders, just dealing with the fucking spiders. Especially in a situation like this where I don't really have any good ways of dealing with it. Okay. It'll have to do. All right, so here we've got another hammer of crypt. What does this do? Nothing. Magically do something somewhere else. Run around and look for what it did where. And that's where I came from. Um, that seems to have done nothing whatsoever. That doesn't make any sense. This is supposed to get me to the locksmiths. Do. 
So I didn't see any sign of anything over here that could even open. Let alone anything that did open. Surely it's not like something magically opened in one of these other cells. That would be ridiculous. What did the note say about this passage? Blah blah, locksmith. Catacombs have got tunnels underneath. Tunnels and mepsels just move. One of those connects the city watch station with Yarwick's shop. If this is supposed to connect to Yarwick's shop, how does it connect? Was there some silent trapdoor on the ceiling I didn't... Ah. Yes, there was some silent trapdoor on the ceiling I didn't notice. Okay. Always good idea to make... <laughs> Important things. Hard to see. Alright. Progress. Tools. I don't need tools. Ah. Uh. Sounds like a forge. Safe isn't even locked. Green skeleton key. Let's just unlock these doors. We can get out there if we need to. Let's see what else he's got in his house. Oh, and upstairs with an open window. And some fruit. Damn it. <laughs> Where is this? I don't remember seeing this. Maybe this is Varane Plaza? I don't remember seeing a statue here before. <laughs> Given the. Oops. Actually, I was going to say, given all the guards around. What I see there. Oh, well. It must have been nothing. Yeah, it's quite bright. I'm going to try the street exit. It might be easier. If that is Drain Plaza, then the other door is comes out here, maybe? This one. Is someone there? Who's there? <gasps> How? <clears throat> All I want is your money, you know, nothing, 
Nothing exciting. Nothing to get too worried about. That gold cup will do nicely as well. Anything here by the fireplace? Billows. Oh, there's fire hiding in the fireplace. I was trying to use the billows on it, but apparently not. Well, I don't know why I want a bellows. But I guess I'll do it. I, I really like this wallpaper. It's not one of the stock ones, I don't believe. Nor is this one, but this one's quite boring. Okay. Yeah, this looks like here. Yeah. Quick announcement. Due to the recent murder incidents, access to other city districts is prohibited during night time. The Ark put City Watch. Hilarious jewels. Nothing. Oh, well. this must have been nothing. Just your own echo. Um, the key, key, key. this note here. Dear sister, to date I had no luck finding any trace of the blood tear ruby. It must have been in Alaria's possession at one time, but he probably sold it before his sudden disappearance. Alas, his journal doesn't mention anything about a potential buyer. However, there is an interesting passage about Alaria's trying to track down a gemstone called a solar core. According to him, the stone used to be in possession of the late Lord Valerius, whose granddaughter runs an opera house in the city. When the man died, he left behind a large collection of musical instruments. There was no trace of the solar core. Hilarius planned to visit Lady Valerius to gather information on the possible whereabouts of the stone, but he vanished before he could do so. Maybe we should contact her sometimes. Yours, Ben. Guard walks right past this window. Make sure he doesn't see me as he does so. No, he doesn't really seem to be paying attention. Or he'd have noticed that everything was missing. Yeah, he's too busy worrying about his overshoes, so we'll worry about uh, Galarius. Wow, these are worth almost nothing. It's like one ticket to the museum costs uh, more than one of these. Now let's not leave too much visible evidence of our passing. Oh shit. See, there's more than one guard. I don't see anything now. Okay, so if we go down the west side, we'll get to White Cathedral, which we don't have a reason to go to yet. Maybe we'll. Maybe I should go check it out while we're in the area. Uh, see, other guard that comes up the passage that comes in here.
Did you drop anything of interest in the fountain? No? Straight where you're turning. Information. White Gatsy Draw remains closed until further notice. Please repent elsewhere. Oh, I was going to need a key. Oh, no repenting for me today. Creepy looking place, honestly. Doesn't look like the friendliest of statues. Don't suppose a skeleton key is going to work here. It wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's access prohibited. Oh shit, he's coming back. Let's just wait here for him. So this is they had a delivery of a big stone wheel or something. I don't know. Weird place for the Hammerites to hang out in. Someone making noise? Not much noise, I hope. Have we been this way? Yeah, that was the window to jump into the canal. Right. Which brings me back to the canal. And the casino. Oh, shit. Oof. Alright. Back here at Larch Lane. I thinking um, guess we can just go back into the cemetery through the front gate now we have the green skeleton key we can open most of the doors now I could also go open this one Find out what's there, which might be one thing to do. That's just up through here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, you stop. We got a thief here. You messed with the wrong man, thief. Bye. So long, suckers. Coming back there. Thank you. Not while you're hunting for me, hello. What happened in here? I guess something exploded. Another fire arrow. Okay, so I have fire arrows now. Oh. That does not look good. Oh, there is wood at the top there. I might not be getting this red arrow back, but I can find out what happened to this inventor. <gasps> what happened here? How do you like my work, Garrett? I, I mean, I've got to say, I'm not really a fan of your work. Mr. Bolston, here are the figures I mentioned during our chat. Uh, PTRX 175, Might I also suggest adopting these settings to the museum system if you find the results satisfactory? 
It has been a pleasure and inspiration talking to you. Sincerely, Martin. Please don't tell me those are important. Please don't tell me this does anything important. Yeah, we can put in a four digit code. And reprogram punch cards here, but I don't have any punch cards. What is up with this murderer? What's his what's his business? What's his deal? Like we want to reprogram a punch card for the museum, but what and how and why and all questions that don't seem to have answers. Clang. Well, You're not by any chance hiding anything underneath this elevator, are you? No, I don't really think so. We want to reprogram one of those bots, but we don't have anything to do it with. We have. I don't know. Well, these guys left and closed the door behind them, so... Thoughtful. Just, just double checking. That is... Basta, yeah. He's the guy who made us our... Replica, isn't he? He definitely knows our name. You would have access to sharp cutting instruments, I would think. Perhaps he would be interested in obtaining heads or, um, I don't know. So he doesn't have to pay a model, so you can just sculpt the head? I don't know. What would a mad sculptor want? Alright. Oh, that's just the guy going back and forth up there. Right, so. We need a punch card, we need to make it do something. Maybe head back to the top floor again. Oh, this is the Eastern Attic. It strikes me that I should probably reread the book on the security systems. This gets us up to the spectral reflector, but what do we need to do? So, blah blah. Security guards, no, nearly no hiding places, yep. Alarm buttons, but we've managed to avoid that so far. Central hall has an energy field. Man, need to shut down the spectral receptor, deactivating both the machinery on the roof and in the basement. Right, so we've got to turn off the blue rays first. Museum director is authorized to deactivate them. The whole the punch card based maintenance box. So we're not going to be able to do anything useful up here, right? But I'm going to scope it out anyway. 
Right, so we can just switch that off easily now. We have to get rid of those blue rays first. Security. Okay. Oh, why do you need to know his wife's name? What? This is. I don't understand how this would map to letters. Well, we could go back to his house, I suppose, which maybe we're going to have to do. Gonna suffer a little bit. <laughs> Carrot. Oh. So the footsteps are approaching. Library. Merchant correspondence. This is the partial transcription of a correspondence between two sailing merchants written about 60 years ago. Geoffrey, as promised, I shall recount the amazing discovery I made last September. Even though I can describe the island and its inhabitants in great detail, I am unable to tell you how we got there. All I know is that it happened a few days after we had started our journey back from the west. The crew grew increasingly restless, and it wasn't long before long that we discovered the white squid had gotten far off course. Needles no longer pointed north, and even the stars' positions seemed to have changed. Although I tried telling them otherwise, the crewmen became convinced there was a curse on our fate. There was talk about throwing everything we had acquired overboard, but before the situation could escalate, a cry came from the crew's nest. Land was in sight. We rode to shore, hoping to find some indication where in the great western sea we were. With the steep cliffs and craggy mountains, the island was likely an eroded remnant of a long dead volcano. We left our boats at a picturesque beach where a dirt track wound its way through exotic vegetation. The path led us to a glade where we discovered structures that couldn't be mistaken for anything else than human made huts. Imagine our amazement when we realized that this uncharted piece of land was inhabited by what appeared to be at first sight a primitive race of people. They walked around bare chested, wearing variously dyed loincloths and their skin was almost as dark as that of the men sailing the southern seas. Lucky for us, they were very welcoming and friendly. Although nobody of my crew could speak their language, the natives grasped fairly quickly that we were merchants from a faraway land. Alas, being no seafaring folk, they couldn't aid us in locating their island on any of our maps. However, they made us understand somebody else could be of help, and motioned us to follow them into their city. And what an astonishing sight that city was! We could hardly believe that these people had managed to build such impressive and richly decorated monuments out of stone. As we walked past those massive buildings, I noticed that some of the wall ornaments looked oddly familiar to me, but at that time I dismissed the notion as a trick of the mind. I made a drawing of one particular structure we passed that looked like a holy icon or altar. I enclosed it within this letter. Note, facsimile of the mentioned drawing can be found at the end of the transcription. All the architectural marvels were forgotten when we got to see the sheer amount of riches just lying around. Even common drinking cups were made of gold, not few of them adorned with large gemstones. The last pages of this transcript are missing. Ah. What relevance does that have? I... I have no idea. I guess that's a nice... interesting diversion. So what's the map of this floor? Okay, that's just an office. Oh, which doesn't even isn't even accessible. To everyone, it has once again come to my ear that several misguided individuals believe there is a hidden emerald room in this building. I'd like to make it clear once and for all that no such thing exists. We renovated the whole place for heaven's sake, and if there were a room like this, we'd have found it years ago. Director Wilkerson. To the guard personnel, the audio lock next to my office is a mechanism to open the door, not a musical instrument for anybody to play on. 
I prefer, prefer memorizing a melody rather than a number combination, and that is why it was installed. Please refrain from any attempts at arranging compositions in front of my office. Thank you, Director Wilkerson. Aha. I see, is that why we need to know his wife's name? Alright, what else is on this floor? Just this entrance and another office at the far side. Oh. Where's my skeleton key? Oh, it's not. Okay. The balcony. So where is this emerald room hiding? Deidre, do you have any idea where the Hammerites have gone? I know White Cathedral is currently closed for renovations, but the entire place looks completely deserted. Director Wilkerson wants me to find a priest who can put Brother Reginald to rest. Also, have you noticed Sheila acting a bit weird lately? I first thought it's simply stress-related, but by the way she looks around all the time and how she's startled by anybody entering your office, I get the feeling she's afraid of something. Maybe we should talk to her? Henry. Oh, that's the stairway, okay. This is... a room that doesn't do anything. And this will bring us to the upper main gallery. Aha. See the rays. It's the horn that people tried to blow. Serpent. Um, interesting. That looks like a totally arbitrary collectible object over there. Very nice. Did not expect to find one of these in this museum. I wonder how they got hold of that. It's a rare and precious artifact. Alright, before I worry about robbing the main floors, let's see about the floor below. It might be just that one fellow. It might have actually knocked out most of the guards by now. So he comes and goes in here, right? Let me take a sip of water while I wait. No, there's another set of footsteps out there. So that's the office that he goes into, right. He goes in and out of the lobby. We're going to have to get into Wilkerson's place. I do want to briefly check out this office if I can first. And that means I'm going to need to head back to Wilkerson's house. Yeah, there was a guard there. Anything in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, back to the cemetery. I'll probably leave this open now. I saw the statue out of the corner of my eye and thought it was a uh, person. Oh, this is this door, okay. 
That's the side door that we found before. Well, we want the cemetery anyway. I guess the guard comes along this way, doesn't he? We can head down there, and then he goes around there, so we can probably go that way pretty easily. Oh. You're going the way that I want to go, man. Are you actually? Yes. Oh, this guy's coming this way. It's not what I wanted. What's his wife's name again? Elaine. Elaine? What's that? I thought I heard footsteps, but then third time this shift, and they stopped again. I gotta calm down. Yeah, you really ought to calm down. Okay, Elaine. How do we play Elaine on six buttons? Don't know. It's not strike me as obvious. Anyway, there's still definitely guards out there. On the main floor. This is a bad puzzle. I have absolutely no clue how any of these relate to anything else. I've got all the clues I believe that's going to exist. Possibly it wants me to identify which of these notes is which. Like, what, what was... The name is Elaine, right? If we ignore... E... Oh, there's only three notes. How the hell does this... Relate? Oh, 
I'm gonna have to look this up because I have absolutely no clue how this is supposed to work. Maybe there's something I'm missing information wise, but we wouldn't know what. Bollocks. Well, I will see if I can. No, I just got that out of the of my eye. I was going to say, see if we can rob the museum floor, maybe scout, scope it out a bit more. Uh, but we're definitely going to need to get into his office before we can do the main thing that we came here for. There's a guard. Where do they patrol? I don't know, I lost sight of them. What's this place look like? So here, so it looks like he went in all oh, the stairs down to the ground floor, okay. Strabioli violin. The unique sound of Strabioli's masterfully crafted violins has been enchanting music enthusiasts for decades. Alas, due to their rarity, the violins have become mere museum exhibits that aren't allowed to be played. This is one of them. the guard there. He's going back to the stairway, I think. So I can bring him up to this floor. I think it is, yeah. There he is. So then he walks across. No, is he coming here? Well, you know what? We have a lot of work to do in this museum still. It's going to be safest if we can avoid any interruptions. I'm nothing if not a conscientious. Over. They seem to be stuck at the door. One second, <laughs> sir, let me help you there. Who's that? Please tell me you won't get stuck again. <clears throat> hey, anyway, I figured it out this time. Don't need to take him for remedial door training. All right. Tradition is important. And we have a tradition. <clears throat> of mock burial of guards. Some 
Now I think that fella might be the only one else. The Battle at Widow's Tear. Here. After successfully infiltrating the castle Widow's Tear, Lord Grace put the leader of the resistance to the sword. Lord Grace's original uniform is part of the White Collection and exhibited here with the permission of Lady Melinda White. That is a fancy uniform. There is a... Looks like a door. There's access in here, but it does not appear to be actually a door. Oh, this... Maybe this is the other horn. Maybe this is the horn they're trying to play. The big long one. The spitar, a musical instrument from the last century that is played by salivating into it. Please do not try operating the exhibit. Bag of pipes, played mainly in the northern regions of the barony, this instrument needs a lot of practice to not make it sound like a wheezing horse. And yes, it is our totally arbitrary collectible object. Transient, oh no, it's a transient auto cascade oscillator. Although its purpose is not for certain, this object is said to be an intricate musical instrument with extraordinary collector's value. Yeah, so this is from Anachronox. It's the, uh... Taco. I mean, it's a taco on a... stick, right? But, uh... That's a totally arbitrary collectible object you have to collect in order to, uh... get certain... things. Let's not press the alarm button, shall we? Oh, hello. Where's this take us? Oh. All the part of the, uh... <laughs> building? Is this a western attic? Storage. This is the store up above the storage. Yeah, western attic. I mean, we have a western attic and an eastern attic. And there's enormous space between them. This is higher up again. So, you know, there's plenty of room for an emerald room. Plenty of space for one. Old Billy here was hiding one. And look, there's even a door. And a creepy coat hook. And windows. I mean, do they break? Could I get out onto the roof that way? Seems unlikely. And for the moment, I'm not quite ready. Oh, let's drop some coins. For the moment, I'm not quite ready to begin. Vandalism. I want to make sure the alarm won't get set off before I do that. Right, so let's go down the stairs. Remember that the guy comes and goes from the lobby. The Horn of Quintus. Once buried with the Quintus family in the Bone Horde, this legendary horn went through many hands until it finally found its place in the Harrogate's collection. How many times am I going to steal this thing? <laughs> yeah. Roddick's skull. The controversial philosopher Reynald Roddick used the skull during a speech to support his point that death must be a pleasant experience, evidenced by the skull's grinning expression. Yeah. I would call them more a grimace than a grin. So let's, let's keep away from the energy field. Oh. Blessed hammer. Blessed hammers such as this one are commonly used by hammerites during burial ceremonies. You know what? I have a place for that. Traditional urn. As cemetery spaces become scarce, cremations are raising in popularity. The urns containing the deceased's ashes make an excellent mantelpiece decoration. Urn displayed with the generous permission of Delahaye Crematorium. Oh. 
is all this? What the hell is all this? Oh, this is the maintenance tunnels. Probably the maintenance box, okay. Let's see the bones of Zog. The inverted hourglass. Created by Nibros, the legendary maid, this magical hourglass contains sand that travels upwards. Nimrus. Nimrus? Nibros? Wow, they can't even get his name spelt the same in two paragraphs. Two sentences. Nimrus reputedly intended to use to reverse time, but instead, upon turning the hourglass, he aged several hundred years and died in the blink of an eye. Hourglass well, of sand is all at the top. That's obviously the alarm button. Alright. West Wing Seafaring, we have not been to the seafaring exhibit. Oh, we've got the basement, there's the basement exhibits are down there as well. Okay, there's at least two people there. One of whom is our coming friend. The other is a guard. Coming friend appears we got stuck on the door again. I will just quick load and to try and free him up. Which apparently did not work. Taff only. <laughs> that door open he won't get stuck in it I guess. Ah oh, he's going into the uh, cash desk. So spook then. Guard! He's already me. No, you don't. You're not pushing that alarm button. Thank you very much. Well, you get to sit in your office. You're not a guard, so the guard protocol does not apply to you. Besides, the guards will have warm wool and uh, gear where you're wearing not fancy clothes, but not very warm. So it might kill you to bring you out here. Which I wouldn't cry too much over, but it's also, you know, it's not the plan, so. You know what? So many water arrows and I've not been using them. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna need water arrows and then then just didn't. I did, I, th I expected the museum to be a lot more difficult to be honest, given the burglar proof rating it had, but um it doesn't seem so bad. So now you don't have a key on you. I guess I'll just pick the lock of the safe. My hope was to try and pick the lock of it uh, without being noticed, but I guess it's a bit late for that. Although technically I'm not being noticed anymore. Is that all the cash they have? Is 
did they even sell a single ticket? I guess the answer could well be no. Not unreasonable for them to have failed. Possibly they can't be accepted for any articles left in this room. And there are none. Alright, well we've got downstairs exhibits to do. We've got a seeing lock to figure out. And I've got a blessed hammer to go deal with. I think... Blessed hammer would be first, but... Um, You know what? I think this is a good place to end the episode. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for the next one.